Right, this is some steeple plantation. I've just come through a gate there. A lady's coming, but I've told her I've got to move on because um because of a bus. I've noticed some ponies around. There's a sort of walk you can do, wandering in and out, but. I know where I'm going because I've explored all this before. So, good job, isn't it? Good job I know where I am. I don't like um, striding really because uh, I am more of an ambler, really. But because I haven't had to pace for buses, um, I've got to do it now which means you've got to do quite a, a a brisk walk because you if you just amble along and hours go by and you miss your bus right then just a change of memory card now it's on its third battery and i've got one charging up i've also got the charger so we should have enough to get us back to the village now going to check the time Check it's time checking time. So you've got to remember we might have missed all the kids on the bus, so that's one good thing. We're going on a later one. Um, it's four o'clock. So we've got hour and a half. Let me check again. Oh. Yeah, it's two minutes to four. So we've got an hour and a half get to the bus stop I think we should do it I think we should but like I said I haven't paced myself for the lower walk um, the Coleridge walk to Bicknoller village I don't even know if I've made an error here Seems an awful long way. I'm wondering if I've gone the wrong way, even. I don't know. I've got a feeling I've took a different turn in or something. Let's have a look. This is going down. Wait a minute. That'll be going round the plantation. I think we've got to go down here now. Let me have a look. I think I went on a different track. I reckon I've been on, I went on a different track, you know. I don't recognise any of this. Never mind, don't panic. Don't panic, you know, you'll probably come out. You've got to be in that valley, I think. Can you see a trail? I think, I, I, I think, basically what I think's happened is I've gone, come down a different way. For some reason, I've come down a different way. worry really because it looks like I'm backtracking. I think I came down a different route before. I want this one. This was, I'd just taken the longer route round I think. We're going down, the important thing is we're going down. I've got no idea. I can see a house though. Yeah, no, what I've done, I've done an extra bit because I can see the roof of a house there. Yeah, I shouldn't have done any of that. It should have been straight forward down through a gate and, and then carried on through the meadow. I 
it's the best I have because I recognise them near. Right, I think I'm coming up to Bicknoller Hill now. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Because, you know, like I said, I didn't, couldn't remember. Um, it's half past four. And if I just plough straight through the village, I could get to five o'clock. It's just getting down this bit. I'm so hot. So I said it, it probably wasn't straightforward coming down. I think it would probably be about equal, actually, no. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it would be equal or whether I would have been quicker. <sighs> Definitely would have had a head start though, wouldn't I? <sighs> right, it's very bumpy, I'm afraid. This big Noller Hill. And I'm going to come up to a gate where I came through this morning. And here we are, folks. So I have done, in a strange sort of way, the cows forced me to do the Beacon Hill route and, and the Coleridge Way route. Um, so, I've got half an hour to get to the bus stop if I want to take get the five o'clock. I've got half an hour to do that. But this would be easy when I'm on the route. What, uh, what it is at the moment, I'm um, on bumpy ground. I've had to do quite a, a lot of striding, fast walking, to uh, get myself back on track. I now realise that it wasn't too bad doing the route, even though I did get a little bit disturbed because I couldn't pace myself because I couldn't remember. Um, it's actually worked out all right, and it might have been about the same, I think. I think I might have been here about the same because it, it was quite steep at the top, and, and I would, didn't intend to rush. So I could have still been back a bit because I wasn't planning to rush. And I did have half past five in my mind. And then if necessary half six. I didn't want to get to half seven. I think five o'clock is the last one that's on the half hour. Right, there we are, Bicknoller Hill. So I came up here this morning. It's been quite a hot day. I haven't, re I stopped for a quarter of an hour at Holford Green and I have stopped for one or two minutes here and there to, um, and I'm baking hot, I must be really red as well. I'm just going to check my watch again because it could take 20 minutes walking through the village. I've got no idea, I can't remember. It's dead on half past. Right, I'm going to do a little bit more video and as we go back down through the village, the um, little shop won't be open. I've still got a carton of orange. I drank one this morning. I'm cooling down a bit now, but my face will be bright red. Uh, when my face goes bright red, it takes about two hours to cool down. <sighs> I think I'll just about make it for the five o'clock. I think. I'd rather be ten minutes early than ten minutes late, though. Well, ten minutes late, you've got to wait for the next one, haven't you? Nice 
nice walk. I had to do a bit of pacing. Cooling down a bit now. I've got to walk at this pace still. Like I said, I'm not sure of distancing, you see. Distance. Now there we go. Been up there for the day. Wonder if the locals go up there. I suppose they do if they got dogs. This is a long lane, isn't it? I can't remember it being so long on the way up, and yet it was uphill. That seems to be going on forever, doesn't it? God, I tell you what, I won't be going far if this over the next couple of days even though it's nice weather my legs are going to be knackered by tomorrow but it's not a sock today basically I chose the right day because tomorrow and the rest of the weekend is going to be absolutely baking Done it, Sheila. You've done it. I'll have to do some editing. I did get a bit worried at one point, you know, that I wouldn't get back at all. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Those cows freaked me out. Right, this is Big Nola Village. No time for the church today. I'm not doing any extras today anyway, actually, because I've done it all before. This is called Hill Lane. There we go. Yeah, there's a little shop that's shut. Oh, he managed to get in, didn't he? Oh yeah, we passed that on the way by, didn't we? Right, I'm going to turn off now. That's it, folks. Over and out.